Hey, what's going on guys, Dignan here, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you guys to please do hit that like and that subscribe button as well as leave a comment down below, uh, because I want more views and I need more money. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Uh, since this is a tutorial on the transition, I've already gone ahead and added the Twixter to the actual clip here so that I didn't have to explain how to do that. Uh, basically, if you don't know how to do that, just watch literally any other of my tutorials uh, or just add twist to yourself and then render it out. So just go ahead and add, you know, the velocity and then just go ahead and render it out so that we can add more effects on top of it. And yeah, that is going to be right here. We have the kill right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the actual transition and just the sound effects and the impacts and all that stuff. Uh, so if you go ahead and listen back to this, I'm just going to go ahead and add some markers. Uh, yeah, you can hear. Okay, great. Hey, where will you go when it's summer right there okay so we have our kill which is very i'm gonna go ahead and mark that we have the next beat right here which we want the transition to start and yeah that's pretty much all we need so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is going to be the actual impact so let me go ahead and head over to uh the other save here and i'm just gonna go ahead and copy my impact on to this project file this preset will be in the description uh just so you guys know that is just not the right, uh, that is not the right preset. There we go. Uh, and here we have the impact. This impact will be in the description. It is, you know, uh, completely free, uh, because fuck it, you know? And right here we have that impact. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just actually go ahead and add a new video track right here. Go ahead and drag our second clip on top of that and go ahead and sync the second clip up to the next, where you want the next kill to be. So if you listen back. Maybe want it to be right there. Fuck it. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and make it there. And then we're going to go ahead and sync this up. So this is where I snipe someone out of a car right there. And let's go ahead and make the kill like right there. So now we're going to go ahead and drag this back to the second marker right there. And uh, after that, we should be good to go. Uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the description once again. Uh, you might as well just download everything. I hope you already have. And you are going to see a project file. It'll be empty, except for this little fucker right here. And what I've done with this is I have manually added a keyframe for every frame right here uh, to easy ease it. So because I've done this, this is going to look a whole lot smoother. So if we just play this back, as you can see, it is much, much smoother than anything you could possibly achieve in Vegas. Uh, so just go ahead and copy these. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just make another video track right here. Just drag this up and drag it over here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just make sure that this length is the same uh, here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just paste that over. And we're going to go ahead and split the bottom track right there. And just go ahead and delete that. Uh, now let's hope I fuck. All right, there we go. I think I have managed to get everything back. It, literally everything just disappeared. So I had to redo, uh, essentially everything, which is fucking lovely. Uh, now what you're going to go ahead and do is just drag the text over here. Just go ahead and split the bottom clip right there. I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and save this 0710 tutorial. Fuck it like that. And, uh, essentially what we're going to go ahead and do is just copy the event attributes from this. We're just going to control C on here. Then we go down here, right click, paste event attributes. And now we're done essentially. Now, uh, the text you can leave unless you want to actually put text there for some reason. Uh, if you can also put like literally any, anything above this with these, uh, these attributes. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and move that over to the side. Uh, now, for the first impact right here, we've already added sort of impact right here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this sound effect right here. It is from a Spixit tutorial. It's definitely he didn't make it himself, but he got it. So yeah, fuck it. Uh, credits to you. Uh, great, great sound effect. Great, great. Uh, so now if we play it back, we should have something that looks like this. All right, something like that. Let me go ahead and just make that a bit like that. And as you can see right here, we have this. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just make a, or actually, no, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this video track right there. We're gonna go ahead and split that right there. So now we just have something like this. And here is when I will really need my, um, what's it called? My second uh, monitor right here. So, uh, because I save literally everything that I need onto here so that I don't have to like constantly cut the video, which I mean, I, I guess it's definitely worse for you guys, but 
you know, for me, it's just much, much easier. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just go into our video effects tab, search for Blurmo Curves, just go ahead and go up to, actually, let's go ahead and delete this track right, right away. Just go ahead and copy Blurmo Curves on to here. It'll come up right there. Just go ahead and set the rotate like negative seven, maybe something negative seven. Just keyframe it, go to the end, set it to zero and set that to fast. You can also set it a positive seven depending on which way you want it to come in. But right here, it'll come in like that, which is very smooth. Now, once you have this, what you're gonna go ahead and do is just duplicate this track right here, the one with the second clip. Let's go and duplicate that. I go and split it right there. And now you're gonna go ahead and go to where you saved the presets that are in the description. And you're gonna wanna go drag in something called like a rainbow trans or something like that. Uh, and you're just gonna go ahead and add it essentially. So uh, for me, it'll look something like, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the attributes on there. But once you have added it yourself, it'll look like this. So as you can see, it just comes in and it is in the background. Now this particular preset probably works like skin glows and other stuff as well, I'm assuming. So if you wanna use it for something like that, you can. Um, but yeah, if we just go ahead and save this back, it looks something like this. Where will you go when the summer ends? Where will you go? just like that and now one final thing i'm just gonna go ahead and render all of these out i think i already have in my uh in my other thing but we're gonna go ahead and render everything out so let's say there's a transition here you just go ahead and render it out where you can without like interrupting anything and then you just render it out like sort of towards the end so that you can still just drag it in without having to mess anything else up and you'll get something like that i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the sfx delete these two tracks and as you can see i rendered it out which is just go ahead and mute or delete all these other tracks that aren't sfx tracks right there and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just go to the actual um here it'll be well let, let me go ahead and just see that we can actually just sync everything up correctly it'll be right there right there and now what we're gonna go ahead and do uh it'll be right there so now what you're going to go ahead and do is just go to this marker, just go ahead and split it right there after you've removed the uh, sound effect. And then go, go ahead and go down here and put the preset, like the impact preset up here again. And I'm going to go ahead and change a couple things. So uh, it's kind of my second monitor again. But here we go. Uh, you're going to want to change the amplitude like 0, 0, 0,4, set the frequency to 6, set the phase to positive. And that is really it. So now you just have a lovely little big shake and it'll look like this. Just like that. And that is really it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. And if you didn't enjoy it, like down below, come subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.